Every day, across the globe, an astounding 1.6 billion liters of milk is consumed, courtesy of the millions of dairy cows that supply us with the milk we crave. But have you ever wondered about how tons of liquid milk is processed into milk powder and canned? This factory uses an amazing machine capable of turning liquid milk into powder. In this video, we will discover behind the scenes of milk powder production. Milk powder, simply put, is milk with its water content significantly reduced through dehydration. This transformation results in the creation of fine, powdered milk particles. This process extends the milk's shelf life and makes it easier to transport and store without refrigeration. The technique of dehydrating milk to create powder was first developed in 1802 by the French scientist and chemist François-Nicolas Appert. At that time, Milk powder was primarily used to feed soldiers during wars, as it was a convenient and long-lasting source of nutrition. In the early 20th century, it became a staple in many rural areas, where obtaining fresh milk regularly was not possible. The United States produces more than 98 billion litres of milk annually, averaging 87 litres per person per year. The majority of this milk is sourced from approximately 60,000 dairy farms in the United States, thanks to the 9 million cows that have been specifically bred for this purpose. This advanced farm operates with automated milking and feeding systems for cows, eliminating the need for human intervention. While a farmer can manually milk an average of 6 cows per hour, modern milking machines have the capacity to milk up to 100 cows in the same time frame. The milk production process on this farm shows one of the many technological advancements aimed at enhancing the well-being of cows and boosting production. The facility can simultaneously accommodate up to 80 cows at once for milking. In a day, a dairy cow consumes a mixture of up to 45 kilograms of hay, grass and grain enriched with minerals and proteins. These cows dedicate up to 8 hours a day to consume 45 kilograms of food and drink 200 litres of water to produce as much as 38 litres of milk per day, seven days a week. The milk that cows produce is a nutrient-rich liquid, and it consists of about 87% water. Cows produce milk during their lactation period, which typically begins after giving birth. From the age of 15 to 17 months, they are inseminated annually for approximately six years. After giving birth, the newborn calf nurses for a few days and is then moved to a separate area for its upbringing. Meanwhile, the mother continues to produce around 35 litres of milk each day for a period lasting 10 to 12 months, and this milk is used for human consumption. The floor is automatically cleaned every 24 hours to prevent cows from walking on their excrement and getting sick. Animal welfare is at the core of the dairy industry. A happy and stress-free cow produces better milk. Therefore, they are not confined to stables, but allowed to roam freely, indoors or outdoors, eating and drinking as they please. They even scratch themselves with this roller, which improves blood circulation and keeps them clean. Each cow has an identification tag that emits a unique low-frequency signal. This way, the system collects data on each cow's milking habits and monitors the quality of their milk. The traditional practice of milking cows twice a day has become a decision based on the cows themselves. When the pressure in the udders makes them uncomfortable, the cows need to simply walk to the milking parlour. The setup is designed to ensure their comfort and freedom, with arrangements that prevent their separation from the herd. Scientific studies have demonstrated that separating them causes stress. The part of the milking machine that attaches to the cow's udders is called a cup. It operates similarly to our hands. Each of these cups emits a pulsation that creates a suction and massage effect. This pressure is applied to the cow's udder, causing the cow to release milk into this milking machine. Next, when the milk reaches this container, the machine uses a vacuum pump to transfer the milk through a hose to a storage tank. An advanced machine analyzes the milk, and if the quality is not good, or if signs of illness are detected, such as the milk being too warm or containing blood, the system automatically discards it. The milking process typically lasts around seven minutes. A flow sensor is responsible for detecting when the cow has been completely milked. When the flow sensor registers that no more milk is flowing, the cups detach automatically, allowing the cow to leave. Rotary milking parlors are ideal for large farms to efficiently milk many cows in a short time. Milk that passes inspection 
is stored in a tank and transferred to a refrigeration tank to keep the milk fresh. It is stored at a temperature of 3 degrees Celsius, similar to the refrigerators in our homes. More than 8 litres of freshly milked milk is needed to produce 1 kilogram of milk powder. The freshly collected milk is temporarily stored in stainless steel tanks or containers for further processing. It's essential to keep the milk refrigerated to preserve its quality and reduce bacterial growth. At this stage, the milk is raw. Raw milk has a short shelf life and may contain harmful bacteria. The collected milk is transported from the farms to the processing factory. This can be done using refrigerated trucks to maintain the milk at appropriate temperatures during transportation. Tanker trucks bring in 567,000 litres of milk daily from nearby farms. In the laboratory, all the milk is analysed before it's accepted. The fat and salt content must meet the plant's standards. After quality control, the new batch is pumped to the silo area. Twelve gigantic storage silos rise into the sky like futuristic buildings. Together, they can hold 2.8 million litres of milk, enough for 20 million cereal bowls. However, whole milk contains too much fat for most people. Hence, the first task is to separate it. Raw milk contains solids like fat, protein and minerals suspended in the liquid. To separate these solids, the milk undergoes a centrifugation or separation process. The centrifugal separator accelerates this process by separating more than 22,000 litres of milk per hour. At the top of the separator, conical-shaped discs spin at a speed of 7,000 revolutions per minute. This forces the skimmed milk, which is heavier, to gravitate towards the outer edge, while the cream flows towards the centre. Skimmed milk is the foundation for producing milk powder, however the milk may still contain harmful bacteria. The solution to this is pasteurization. After separating the solids, the milk goes through a pasteurization process. Pasteurization involves heating the milk to a specific temperature, usually around 72 degrees Celsius, for a predetermined period to eliminate harmful bacteria and other microorganisms. Then, the milk is quickly cooled to stop the heating process. Pasteurization takes less than 40 seconds and kills 99% of the milk's bacteria. Once the milk has been pasteurized, the concentration process is carried out. This step aims to reduce the milk's water content to obtain a higher concentration of dairy solids. The milk is introduced into an evaporator, a device designed to remove the water in the milk. The evaporator uses heat to turn water into vapor and separate it from the milk. The milk is heated and maintained for a specific time in the evaporator. The evaporator consists of a series of towers with tubes. The milk enters the top of each tube and travels through several small stainless steel tubes. The steam surrounding each tube boils the milk as it falls to the bottom. Steam and concentrated milk flow to a separator where steam exits at the top and milk is pumped to the next tower. The process is repeated several times until all water is removed from the condensed formula. Finally, the milk reaches storage tanks. During the evaporation process, the heat used to turn water into vapor is recovered and reused. This helps reduce the factory's energy consumption. After evaporation, a thicker, more concentrated milk is obtained, which may have different densities depending on the type of milk powder desired. Next, the milk powder is cooled to prevent moisture formation and clumping. This can be achieved using cooling equipment such as heat exchangers or air coolers. It is then packed into suitable containers like airtight sealed cans to protect the powder from moisture and contamination. These steps are essential to preserve the quality and shelf life of the final product, ready for distribution. If you want to know how millions of bathing soaps are made from olives, watch the video on your screen and please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating the notifications to continue learning. Thanks for watching.